Hey, this is Phil from Whitechapel, and you're watching Hardcore Sounds. So, hello everyone. We are here in Sauna Open Air in Tampere, Finland, and with me is the two guys from Whitechapel. Hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? Going good. Uh, just uh, got a couple days left, and we head home, and we're home for about three days, and then we head on Warp Tour in America. Just played here in Finland, so definitely get well, we're getting ready to go to uh, Copenhagen. Copenhagen tomorrow, and then download, and then home. So, uh, as you mentioned, you will be playing at Download Festival. Do you have any ex expectations towards the show there? It's it's a thing. huge festival. Yeah. I haven't heard anything but good things, so we're definitely stoked to play it. Have you played there before? No. We played England or UK or whatever yeah, before, yeah, but, but uh, Download, Download Festival, no. So uh, let's discuss a little bit about your new album, uh, A New Era of Corruption, which was released a couple of days ago through Met Metal Blade. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the recording process of the album? So, uh, it was scheduled for a long time, but I mean, we actually, as, as weird as it was, it just seemed like we really didn't do much in the studio, but it, like we got done earlier than we were supposed to, and it was great working with Jason Zukoff. I mean, he's... he's uh, He's a he's a really just odd guy. I mean, like you know, I mean, and, but I mean, you kind of need that in the studio if you just got some guy that's just all business and doesn't have any sense of humor. I mean, he definitely kept the vibe up and you know kept the spirits high and everything. And uh, he, uh, I mean, it was it was definitely um, it's definitely been our best recording process yet. You know, it was just the fact that you went in a little more prepared than usual, so it made it easier and got done quicker. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the album title, A New Era of Corruption. What does it mean to you guys? Uh, I mean, like, it's a, it's actually a line off uh, the song Possession from the last CD. Yeah. And uh, basically, you know, I mean, as, as, as the world, uh, you know, gets older, you know, it just seems like everything just gets worse and stuff, you know, I mean, like, well, I mean, in America, anyway, I mean, like, you know, that's where we're from, and that's what we base most of our stuff off of, and um, it's just, you know, it just, it, we're, we're in, you know, we've entered a new era, you know, and, like, it just seems like all, everything's just fucked up in the system right now, and it just seems like it's never going to get fixed, and they, they promise, to, you know, to fix it, and, you know, it, you never really see anything from it, you know, I mean, apparently everything's terrible right now but I mean like it, you know it, I, I honestly don't really pay attention to too much politics and stuff like that but I mean it just seems like uh, you know just like the music business in general is just like it's it's going downhill nobody buys CDs like they used to you know it's just everything's just nothing is like you know it seems like legit anymore I mean everything's everything's uh, advancing with technology and you know things are getting easier and it's just not as you know money is not made as easy as it is to you know today and or uh, it's it's not made as easy as it was back then you know and it's just all kinds of all kinds of bullshit going on like that that literally is what it means but like when i hear and read a new era of corruption like i also try to associate the name with us as a band hopefully we can be a new era of metal per se and like so like figuratively speaking, but you know, literally terms, it's like, I think it has it's deep in meaning, hopefully, more than just an album title, you know? <clears throat> so uh, what's your favorite song from the new album, Playing Wisely? Which song do you enjoy playing the most, and in your case, singing the most? Well, playing Wise, obviously, it's got to be Darkest Day of Man, because that's the only one we've played live. But uh, as far as one that I'm actually excited to play, I mean, like, you know, I'm... I'm excited to play uh, in the flesh. I'm 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 excited. To, I mean, if we ever get to see like Vincent on tour, I'd like to play Murder Sermon. Uh, you know, obviously Chino's probably never gonna be around whenever we're playing, but I mean, uh, uh, it'd be cool to play that song and have him do it with us live. That'd be fucking incredible. But I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to play playing whatever songs, you know, we play. I mean, it's just, you know, we wrote the music, you know, because we wanted to. So, I mean, it's, you know, I'd like to play them all if we could, but I mean, you know, I mean, that's obviously not going to happen. We're not going to play every single song, you know, n not at every other, sh not at every show, but I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm excited to play whatever songs that we feel we should play, you know. So as you mentioned, those do the guest vocals to the album. How did you end up having those? Uh, 
Where did you get the idea? Uh, well, Chino was kind of a uh, uh, Alex is a really big Deftones fan. I mean, all of us all of us like Deftones. I mean, like some of us more than others. But uh, the the idea for Chino actually came from Alex and our uh, manager is good friends with Chino, and he man he uh, managed uh, a band his his other band called Team Sleep, and. Uh, that the idea was brought up, and you know, uh, our manager just said, "Okay, well, let me see what I can do." And you know, Chino agreed to do, it, and we're just like, he's, "Why he's not?" He's actually showed Whitechapel to uh, the Deftones dudes since uh, our first CD, and like, uh, evidently, they've always been, I guess, not a huge fan, but they they like the music enough to to want to get on it. You know, I mean, I'm sure it was it was one of those things like he didn't have to do it. You know what I mean? It's Chino from the Deftones, so yeah. it was it's a privilege for us to have him on our CD and. It's like one of those things like we know that he didn't have to and it makes the song fucking amazing yeah. so it's awesome yeah. and i guess it's pretty amazing to have him since he can say no if he wants to say no too. he didn't we weren't there for the recording process but we actually meet him so shortly after and uh he was telling us how he liked the song and stuff so and how he had fun doing it so everything's good yeah, he's a super super legit guy he's really nice and uh uh he's uh I mean, like like he was saying. I mean, like he didn't have to do it. I mean, he's you know he's he we grew up, you know he was still he was doing Deftones while we were still in school, you know, like growing up. So I mean, like it's crazy to think that you know these fans out here that actually go to Deftones shows they would kill to even be five feet away from the guy. And we actually got to talk to him, and that's crazy, you know. I mean, like he's a super legit guy too. He's really nice. So uh, when you started making music, uh, what were your main goals as musicians, and what are they today? I mean, you know, we. I, I feel like every band starts out just to have, you know, like, it, most mostly, you know, in most cases, it starts out because you want to have fun, you want to play music. I mean, it's, you know, if you grow up listening to, you know, metal, punk, pop punk, pop, pop music in general. I mean, everybody, everybody in the world wouldn't mind being in a band. I mean, like, I, there's, I don't think there's one person out there that wouldn't like to be able to play an instrument and like make music. Yeah. I mean, we're like. Like the first time, like the first time we came together in in the band, we sat down or like you know, we went, we had from the beginning we had a professional like look on things. Like we didn't want to play, you know, down the street every Saturday. Like we actually wanted to go out and try to play and tour and maybe get signed to a label and stuff. But it wasn't any like if you would have said five years ago or whatever that I would be in Finland yeah, talking yeah. to you right now, I would have told you to eat shit and die. But, so, uh, where do you see the band five years from now? Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's hard to tell. I mean, you know, it, like I said, uh, like I was saying earlier, I mean, the the bands solely rely on the fans to keep them going. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, if, and if fans just stop buying music eventually one day and just keep downloading it, and nobody buys any CDs, there's no band. I mean, like, you know, I mean. You know, I don't want to sit here and say we do it for the money, but I mean, you know, I mean, it's but you have to get something to, to live. To, it costs you know, a lot of money to come to Finland. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, like, you know, it's kind of like you know, if you want us to come to Japan or something, you know, I mean, you got to give us something because I mean, it costs a shitload definitely, for us to come over there. Definitely not rock stars, but you know, honestly, like, uh, as long as like, yeah, buying music is awesome, but come to shows and that and buy merch and like take new T-shirts and shit. That's that's the the best support you can get and. Uh, in five years from now, if people still buy merch and we'll still be doing this, you know, I mean, it's like as long as as long as we can, you know, afford to play music, I'm sure we will. Yeah, it's that's just, pretty it's, much. It's it. just like any other job too. I mean, if your favorite restaurant's McDonald's and they just started giving out free food and didn't have to pay for it, you eventually would not see McDonald's yeah. anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like it goes for everything. That's yeah. you know, it, it you know, money makes the world go round no matter way you know no matter if you think it does or doesn't you know i mean it's 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 fact i mean it's without you know if without money there's nothing well uh thank you really much for both of you for doing this with us and good luck for the future uh, anything you want to say as a closure to your european fans uh, just keep coming to shows keep supporting us buy our new album and hopefully you know we'll be around in other countries that we haven't been to and just keep supporting and we'll keep coming out i mean that's basically the the gist of it. Yeah, appreciate the interview. It was fun. Thank you really much.